Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I lived in the USA for one year because I was an au pair and today we will do a Q&A all about my year, what I did and all your questions you asked me on Instagram and I have my two beautiful roommates over here and they will ask the questions. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get started. The first question is, how did you meet your host family? So I was with an agency, my agency is Culture Care, and I met them through the internet. Hey, did you pay for your flights? No, I did not. So like, okay, hold up. Culture Care told me I will pay 1,600 euros and included are my flights, insurance, and 24 seven contact with my LCC. This is like just a person, she's, or he is living in my town and if I have a question or a problem with my host fam I can always ask her and connect with her so whatever so they told me this but a few weeks ago I uh, contacted my host fam and they asked me if I paid something to culture care um, and if I paid something for my flight and I said yes and how much it was flights are usually included for them so I'm not really sure who is actually paying the flight if it's the host family or me or both so yeah were you scared before going? Going, going. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you this. So uh, I had a boyfriend at that time. So in the beginning, I was not scared. Um, like three weeks, <laughs> three weeks before I left, I was really, really sad um, because yeah i just will leave my family and my boyfriend and my best friends and all the stuff so i was really sad i was not scared in the first place and um, then i was really happy like one or two weeks before and the last three days i was so sad i was like why am i doing this like for real why like questioning myself if i really want to do this and if i really want to go abroad for a whole year um but really scared no i would say no. Did you consider any other countries before going? No, I did not because I was not really interested in other countries. So like Australia, whatever. I really, oh, my mom wanted me to go to England, but I was like, eh, then all of you are able to visit me and I don't want to do this. Hmm. Were your host family strict or not? I would say no. My host family was really chilled and I was always able to talk with them about certain things. But they were strict about the car and for example driving in Seattle and parking in Seattle and where I'm going because it's like it's America and it's dangerous obviously and it's a big city so and I'm not from here and this is not my native language. Boy, you this <laughs> happened even like They just wanted me to be safe and they always said like usually yes to things sometimes we uh, did a compromise so both sides are happy with the solution but yeah in general they were not strict at all did american people take you subordinary or like equal <sighs> that's a good question actually i would say they took me equal like, they were always friendly and nice, but some of them always looked at me like, oh, so you're the au pair. Okay. And I was like, okay, and you're a, a human being. Okay. Like, I was not sure why they are looking at me like this. I'm not sure if they ever met someone who is not from America, but sometimes they really looked at me like this and they're like, you can talk in two languages. But in America, they told me it's not normal at all because they are talking their native language and they don't need another language because basically everyone can talk in English so yeah okay back to the question um, some did some did not but the people who are close to me they were always like treated me equally yeah how much money did you earn so I earned in a week $200. During COVID I got $400 per week, which was really nice. I'm so thankful for that and I'm really happy and I know a lot of the pairs did not get this opportunity to get more money, but I can say that every single dollar was really well spent on me because, well, I did a lot and I know that. They knew it too and they said they really appreciate me and that I'm still staying with them even though COVID is here and everything is all crazy and we don't know what's happening the next day. So yeah, they gave me this appreciation through words and money. Your best and your worst experience. I had 
a few bad situations, obviously, and a lot of good situations. So one of my worst experiences was I had a fight with my host kids and they both were on the iPad and they were, it was time to give me the iPad and we got in a huge fight and I know it's so bad, but I just took the iPad from one of my host kids and my host kid tried to grab it again and I just did this move and my other host kids stand in the back of me and I put it into his face which was really bad and I was full with adrenaline and like the dad came up then and everyone was crying I was crying my host kid cried the one which got the blue spot then above his eyes this was really really bad I felt terrible this was just oh my god I for real I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave so yeah a few situations which was not the best behavior from myself and I know that and I always said I'm sorry obviously I got a lot a lot a lot of good situations and I can name two of them so one of them was basically every single week because I had one night with my host kids and I always loved to bring them to bed because I had them the whole day already and they were in school and I always felt like kind of a mom and I really like that when they're laying in bed and we're snuggling and we're reading books so yeah and my girl was always the last kid um who went to bed so I was always snuggling with her she fell asleep so fast in my arms and that was just the sweetest thing on earth and we went to San Diego and we saw a beautiful sunset like for real it was stunning would you do it again even with COVID? Mm, I would say yes really happy that I spent the year over there and if I already knew COVID would come then I would still do it but, like I would still do it anyway so but if I would go now even COVID is here I'm I think I would everyone knows how it works with the mask and with quarantining and like with school and online schooling they already like obviously they're not super comfortable with all the stuff but more comfortable when you compare it to like a year ago when covid first came and no one knew what's happening and what we are doing and how long it will take and all the stuff so yeah i would still do it and how did you organize your finances well, I did not really organize them. In the beginning, um, I always put like $20 away so I can pay my taxes, which are coming up now soon. I'm not looking forward to that. I was really lucky with my family and they said like those $200 are just yours. Um, a lot of my friends, they needed to pay for their shampoo, for their cream, for their hand cream and for conditioner and whatever. Oh yeah, the phone bill was is always included because the host family wants you to be always like available for them so they will pay that that's always included i didn't really manage my finances in the beginning i tried but then i was just like mm, it's more than enough what i get so i didn't really manage them what college course <laughs> question what college courses did you do um i <laughs> So you have two choices. The first one is you go to a college and do whatever classes and you need to get, I think, five points, not quite sure, or six points. Um, I got mine through the weekend class, which is for the au pair. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine through the weekend class. You can just Google that, weekend class, au pair, whatever. Um, I wanted to do mine in San Diego, but since COVID came, I was not able to go so we did this online i did arts and entertainments and make a difference okay. next question here it is would you go again over there yes i would period <laughs> <laughs> period what was the hardest in your stay as an au pair so um the hardest part was probably for me that i really missed my boyfriend it was really really hard to do a long distance relationship that was not easy at all and the other thing was, I mean, I'm German, so my parents are pretty strict and over there they're not so strict and sometimes the kids were a little bit annoying. And well, I would handle the situation differently how the parents would, but obviously these are not my kids, so I need to act 
how they want me to act and sometimes it was just hard to deal with both kids at the same time because both of them were interested in different things and both of them wanted me to play with them so yeah that was not always easy especially when both of them are annoyed and frustrated and sad and mad and everything and they want to be with their parents and i am there and i need to deal with that sometimes this is just hard well did you have crazy kids well no <laughs> 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 no, I did not crazy. have crazy kids. Um, I really love them, but when they're evolving and all this stuff, they're just going through phases and that's fine. How much did you earn during the year? I earned between 11,000 and $14,000. Not quite sure, but yeah. Did you have times where you felt... <laughs> <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> uncomfortable in the usa yes i did have times where i felt uncomfortable <laughs> i had fights with my host mom i felt really uncomfortable in this situation i had fights with my host kids i also felt uncomfortable during that time um it's just a different country and you don't have your circle with you you don't have your safe place you you're just with yourself. You will grow through the situation, obviously. But um, yeah, yeah, there are uncomfortable situations. All right. Did you want to go home at one point? Yes. 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 So I had a few times where I was thinking about leaving. So first they said they will close the schools just for just for one month. And I was already like, Okay, a whole month with them at home. That's that's cool. Cool. I did not think about leaving at that point. Then, and um, they said it will take another five months that they are staying at home, and I was like, what? No. And then I was thinking about that again because then obviously it was a big change. The kids went crazy, um, and everything was not how it usually went, and this was really hard for me to deal with. And at that time, I really missed my boyfriend, um, so this was hard as well. And yeah, after those five months, I was like, okay, yes, they're going back to school. Guess what? They did not go back to school. And I was like, okay, should I really spend my last four or five months with them? Or should I like rematch or go home? I talked with like a friend of mine and my boyfriend and they both said like, even my family said like you have such a great family you should stay with them and to be honest i was thinking about going into a rematch because a lot of my au pair friends did this because they their family said you're not able to travel when you're staying with us because they want to be safe my family said this as well that they don't want me to be in an airplane but we came to good solutions for both sides and in the end i'm so happy that i didn't rematch because i have such an amazing host family and i really i really do miss them actually so there were points where i was like okay we'll just pack my bag and leave but i'm really happy that i did not thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i would also appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends and with your family maybe you have also friends who are interested in the whole experience being an au pair and maybe this video would help them what's up and hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next time actually next week for part two see you later alligator <laughs>